I am Michael Barron. Um, I'm 46 years old, just uh, turned in June. Uh, I'm a, a two-year cancer survivor. Uh, I had a radical nephrectomy in uh, 2015. Kind of got to re remember sometimes, it, it seems like yesterday. Back in uh, 2014, actually it started in the uh, end of uh, 2013, I had uh, started getting colds regularly and just wasn't feeling right. Um, I was working for my brother, um, his shop, Ace Body Shop also, uh, at the time. And we had kind of just casually been talking about how we were fatigued and tired, and, but I was the one that was getting sick. So I ended up using all my sick time and uh, I kind of knew something was wrong, but had no idea. I went in for blood work and uh, physical. Um, basically just a, a recurring cold. In other words, I would, um, you know, get a cold, I would remedy it, and then it would come right back. I had, I did have some flank pain uh, in my left, left lower uh, back, but I've had multiple back, back surgeries, so at the time I just kind of shrugged it off as, you know, it's my back. I didn't have really any other physical symptoms other than fatigue. So uh, believe it or not, one day I just, uh, I don't know if it's too personal or not, but I had a hemorrhoid. And I kind of used that as an excuse to go to the ER and get a CT scan. Um, you know, unfortunately, I've experienced the hospital quite a bit because of my neck and back and so forth. So I just went in, they did a CT scan, and uh, it was kind of surreal. I, I, I'd never asked this before after having an exam, but I asked them, you know, how long does it take to get the results? And he said between 15 and uh, 20 minutes. But if we find something, we'll, uh, you know, we'll come back right away. They wheeled me back to the emergency room where my wife was waiting, and uh, you know, here comes the uh, the um, a doctor with uh, a counselor. Yeah, that was the uh, moment of truth, and he just came right out and said it. And he said, uh, "You need to get your life in order. You have cancer." And uh, then he showed me the results and showed me a big old tumor on my kidney and and uh, so uh, I was just in shock uh, you know you you always say why me you know how how did this happen to me I, I'm you know at the time I was I guess 43 44 years old you know for the most part in really good shape I'm athletic I play sports water ski golf uh, snow ski you know just about anything so it was we kind of just looked at each other like what just, what did he just say? And, uh, and then it was, okay, I have a bunch of customers that are doctors. I need to get on the phone. And uh, so I, I called uh, all of my, my clients that are doctors and good friends, uh, Dr. Gus Martel, uh, my neighbor, uh, Dr. Prieto. And uh, I just said, hey, you know, I just found this out, um, you know, sorry to, to, I guess, you know, impose, but uh, I need help. And, uh, you know, everything goes through your head. Do I go to MD Anderson? Do I go to the Mayo Clinic? And actually they just, uh, they said, you know, take it easy. I said, let's, you know, let's go to a doctor here. Um, they referred me to an oncologist uh, who I'm still seeing, Dr. Valilis, uh, Pagnotis Valilis, and uh, Dr. Tabor, uh, who had, Coincidentally, done my uh, my clipping, so to speak. Uh, his dad did that uh, several years prior, so I was familiar with him. Uh, so I felt a little bit comfortable. So at any rate, so I went and uh, I just went to them, and uh, the oncologist said, "Look, you got to go to your urologist first. He will say whether we need to take it out or what plan of action. We do that. Nine times out of ten, you're done. You come to see me." If you still have cancer, then we'll worry about sending you to MD Anderson or wherever you want to go, we'll send you. And uh, 19 days later, the cancer was out of my, uh, out of my body. It's a radical nephrectomy, left side. Um, so yeah, you even got the scar to prove it. Uh, it just made me more aware of, uh, I've always kind of known my body when it tells me something due to sports injuries and things like that, but 
it kind of made me just reflect on, you know, what I've done for the last 43 years. You know, um, have I really, really considered that uh, you could be gone tomorrow? Um, my kids, uh, my family, you know, that, that's the biggest thing is uh, you don't so much think about yourself anymore. It, it becomes selfless rather than selfish. So, um, yeah, and, and also just getting the word out to other people. You know, this, um, this tattoo, I wear the color orange a lot because that is the, the uh, color for kidney cancer. And people ask me, why do you do that? Why do you, so, so that you will ask me and I can tell you so that you can go get checked because I've lost so many friends and uh, you're seeing younger and younger kids being diagnosed and sometimes it's too late. Uh, so the sooner the better, you know, get checked. Early screening. Early screening, that is the biggest deal. If, if you feel real bad, there's a reason and get it checked. The, the worst case scenario, they tell you, you know, you got something, we'll treat it. Best case scenario, we'll see you next checkup. I just really want to thank my family and my support group. Uh, you know, they've been really, really considerate, my friends. Um, I don't really want to single anybody out because collectively, you know, we've, we've gone through this and, you know, um, continue to. Uh, matter of fact, I just had, I think my, whatever, two and a half year checkup uh, about three weeks ago. Everything's good. I need to lose a little bit of weight, but uh, cancer free.